Hi there, my name is Nick, and today I'm going to talk to you about my Phonak Lumini 90s. So, for a brief introduction on my hearing loss history, um, I am very new to hearing loss. Um, my hearing loss is mild, and um, I've been experiencing it probably for the past four or five years, um, but have not really jumped into the world of hearing aids until this past November of 2022. Um, I went to my audiologist and I was diagnosed with a mild hearing loss. Uh, my biggest complication is really in crowded areas with lots of background noise. Um, I have a very hard time hearing the thing that I want to hear. Uh, instead, I hear everything else. So uh, having a job that requires a lot of conversation with people in those kind of environments, um, prior to the hearing aids, it was almost impossible because I could not hear the person two feet in front of me. I heard everything else, but not that person, which is not that great. So um, I was recommended to get hearing aids by my audiologist, and I did. So I, I you know, they, they recommended uh, two different models. They recommended the Lumidi 90 by Phonak, and they recommended the Widex Moment. I did a fitting with my audiologist. Well, not a fitting, I did a consultation and both seemed to work fine. Um, I didn't really know what to look for. I didn't know what was good, what was bad. I just knew what was important to me. Um, and what was important to me was music, right? I'm a, I'm a musician, I play music, I listen to music, I experience music all day long. Um, I also play guitar and I work on guitars. So it's important for me to be able to hear the little things, right? Is there a decrease in the treble? Is there an increase in the bass? Right? I need to be able to hear these things so that I can properly diagnose what's going on with the instrument. Finding a hearing aid that was going to allow me to do that was very important. So choosing between the two was gonna come down to a couple different things. Um, the technology, the accessories, and the ability to do the things that I do, right? Um, whether it's connecting to things via Bluetooth or having Zoom conference calls or talking hands-free, um, those were important things for me. So I chose the Phonak Lumity 90s for a few reasons. Um, number one is their hands-free calling and Bluetooth connectivity. Um, so let's start with the Bluetooth, right? These, these can connect, I believe it's up to eight different Bluetooth devices at the same time. Or sorry, it can make those eight connections but have two at the same time and you can switch between them easily. Uh, and for me, right, that's a big thing, right? I, I wanna connect them to my phone, I wanna connect them to my watch, and I wanna connect them to my computer. Um, also, I have an Apple TV, so I can connect them to my Apple TV and beam that sound right into my hearing aids. So having those multiple connections was actually really important. Um, other devices use a different Bluetooth standard, like if they're built for iOS, um, and it doesn't really allow you to do that many connections at the same time. Um, specifically, the other hearing aid I was looking for, like I couldn't connect it to certain devices without having a secondary Bluetooth connectivity dongle. And I didn't want to carry that around, right? I want everything kind of hands-free. Um, <clears throat> the other benefit was making calls on the Lumides, um, there is, it's a, it's a two-way connection, right? I can hear through my hearing aids and also the microphone on the hearing aids picks up what I'm talking or what I'm saying. Um, other devices, I would have had to have another piece of technology, maybe on my lapel, on my lapel or my collar or my shirt that would act as the microphone and the receiver. And, I, and I, I didn't want that, right? A, it's more money, and B, it's just another thing to carry around. So I guess now that I've been talking about these, um, let's go ahead and show you what they're like, right? This is the charging case for them. It does have a USB-C connection, and the base is a little grippy, and this green ring lights up to show you that they are in fact receiving power. Um, you will put your hearing aids in this to charge them, which is great. Opening it is fairly easy. It's a magnetic enclosure, Oop. right? So there's no latches. 
And there you can see my hearing aids in their respective charging areas. And there's an area for your domes. Um, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and take them out. Give you a little close up. I got them in the gunmetal gray sort of graphite looking finish. Um, not because I wanted it to match my hair or my skin. Uh, I just like gray. So um, I'm also using um, open domes, right? So they are not closed. They're allowing quite a bit of the external sound in through, into my canals um, and just providing some of that assistance. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on. Um, both of them are the same. I'm gonna press and hold the button on the back for five-ish seconds. And you can see they start to blink green, letting you know they are in fact on. When you turn them off, they're gonna blink red. As with most hearing aids these days, um, these are very low profile. Um, you can tell me, but I can't really see anything, right? You'd have to really go in there and look. Um, even the, the tube is, is very low key. Um, if being subtle with your hearing aids is, is important to you, this is a great option. Now they're, they're one of the smallest behind the ear receivers uh, on the market, uh, which is pretty cool. So why did I choose this? We talked about the Bluetooth connectivity. We talked about the hands-free calling and having it be two-way, right? I don't need another accessory to act as a microphone. These act as a microphone. Um, I can connect to a lot of different devices. <clears throat> My Apple TV, phone, watch, computer. I can do Zoom calls. I can do everything, right? I can use these as headphones, um, which we'll get to in a second because that's probably one of the downfalls for me. What do I like about them? They're very light, right? I, I have a hard time remembering that they're even on. Um, not, not that they're not working. I'm saying that, that they're on my ears, right? I can't feel them. They're not annoying. They don't feel intrusive. Um, they feel very natural. So, so that's a big thing, right? Knowing that they're comfortable and knowing that they're not going to bother you all day in terms of like a rubbing or an itching or a weight issue is, is fantastic. Here's another thing I love about these hearing aids. Uh, the battery life is phenomenal. I use these from about 7 to 7.30 in the morning till probably around midnight, 1 a.m. every day without fail. And by the end of the day, this is my experience, I put them away and they're at about 20 to 25% battery left. So these things will last you all day without an issue. The battery life is fantastic. The one thing I did notice is that it did decrease the life, the battery life on my phone, right? Because these things are Bluetooth connected to your phone all day long. So that Bluetooth connection will consume more battery life on your phone than usual. So just keep that in mind. One of the things I don't like about this hearing aid, um, and I know it's not the purpose. It's not, the main purpose is not to be a headphone. And I understand that, right? So it's just something I'm going to live with. But the audio quality when streaming music from your phone into the hearing aids as a headphone with the open domes leaves something to be desired, right? There's no real low end. It's kind of tinny. It almost sounds like it's from a distance. It's kind of muffled. And I know, yes, that's the open dome letting the bass escape my ears. And it's really in, it's interfering with a pure music sound. Um, there are, things you can do to resolve that. You can work on that issue with your hearing specialist or hearing technician or audiologist to fine tune them um, via software. You can also go ahead and you can mess around with the app, um, which is kind of fun. Speaking of, the app, the Phonak app is interesting. It's a little clunky. Uh, it feels almost a little dated, but the functionality is fantastic. You can have multiple different presets for different environments that you're in so that you can create custom profiles for these hearing aids. So for me, right, I have a restaurant mode 
which will really, really block out most of that background noise and allow me to focus a narrow field in front of me so I can focus on what people are saying and hear them. I have a music mode, which allows a lot more musical and noise data to come in. So I'm not losing that low end or high end or whatever. Um, so you can tailor you can tailor as many presets as you want to certain environments and you can just go in and click the preset and it'll switch real quick. Um, the buttons are very responsive and clicky on the actual device themselves. So if you want to adjust the volume a little bit during the day, you can. One more really cool thing is these have a tap feature. So you can tap on the top of your ear and it will activate your software client, uh, your your assistant on your phone, right? So if you're an Apple person, that's the S-I-R-I -I thing, Siri. Um, or if you're Google, it could be the H-E-Y Google thing. Um, so this, if you double tap, will activate that. It will also allow you to answer phone calls when they come into your phone. You can end phone calls with double tapping. You can start and stop music or, or a video or pause something with the other ear and you can set that in the app. You can also set the sensitivity so you're not slamming on your ear in order to make it work, right? You can make it very sensitive. Like I said, uh, I have had very minor experience with one other hearing aid. Um, it w I really wouldn't count it as an experience, as more of an exposure, uh, it was just a few minutes. So really, this is the baseline for my hearing aid experience, is, is the Phonak Audeo Lumity 90s that I own. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed using them. I, I really, I, I would 100% recommend these to a friend. Yes, they are expensive. Yes, they are worth it. Um, these are going to stay with me for a long time. They are gonna grow with me. They are going to be able to handle any additional hearing loss that I incur in the future, um, which will probably happen, uh, hopefully not too fast. If I were going to offer advice for someone who is considering purchasing hearing aids, it would be to really think about what's important to you. Is it connectivity, right? Do I wanna be able to connect to my technology seamlessly and without flaw? Is it audio quality of music or movies or TV? Is it the size, the color, the weight? You need to find your priorities. You need to figure out what's important to you and how you can get that to work in those hearing aids. Now, some hearing aids aren't just, they're not gonna be a good fit for you because they don't punch those tickets. They don't fill those requirements. But when you find one that does, get it. Because I'm sure I, I, it is worth it. It will change the way you experience life it will change the way you hear the things around you, and it will change the way you're interacting with the people you choose to interact with. So that's my advice. Pick what you like, focus on what you like, and make it work. So that is it for me. Um, this is the Phonak Lumity 90. This is the super high premium top tier uh, version of the Lumities. Um, I love them, they're great, they're fantastic. I would recommend them to a friend, absolutely. Um, so make sure you check out the Lumity 90, the Lumity series, and, and speak to someone who's able to help you out and, and guide you through the things that you're interested in, in learning about in terms of your hearing aids. Thank you.